Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and I want to talk to you a little bit today about incorporating a 3D printer into a high school classroom or into a high school curriculum. And what I want to talk to you about is, is that I think that a 3D printer can be one of the greatest things that you can bring into the classroom at this point, but it's something that you've got to sort of think through because it's not like a uh, normal, it's not like a normal printer, it's not like getting a new computer or a lot of the other technology that's out there, that a 3D printer is really on the bleeding edge of technology and so you got to think a little bit about how you're going to incorporate in the classroom and I've got kind of three ideas for you to think about or three important points uh, for you to think about as you are planning on incorporating a 3d printer into your high school curriculum number one and most important is get a 3d printer that works okay and they don't all work and they are not all ready for prime time and they're not already something uh, all they're not all something ready to go into a high school classroom. For example, I got burned really bad uh, several years ago getting a MakerBot uh, replicator printer. It's the one that's really highly marketed and the really highly visible 3D printer for, um, for consumer type applications and just absolutely was not able to make that thing work reliably. And <clears throat> I'd already set up a class where I had students the students would come to class every day and they would be designing and wanting to use the printer and the printer just flat out did not work and it was just an absolute heartbreaker and it was a heartbreaker for the students and so if you're going to do this you want to make sure that you have a printer that works good news is i can tell you about a rock solid 3d printer that will just flat out work right out of the box <clears throat> and that is the original Prusa i3 Mark II. Now what you have to know is, is that this printer is an open source printer so there's a lot of uh, knockoffs, there's a lot of uh, not authentic ones and so what I really recommend is because to make this work in the in in the classroom it's not about saving a couple of hundred dollars it's about having something that works and the original one really works this printer we paid about nine hundred dollars for you can get uh, you can and that comes fully assembled you can get a kit version for about uh, saving a couple of hundred dollars but again to me I wasn't so interested in saving a couple of hundred dollars I just wanted something that worked and what I'm happy to say is is that this one worked right out of the box there wasn't any adjusting there wasn't any tweaking there wasn't any fine-tuning it just flat out works and so most important thing if you're thinking about incorporating 3d printing into a high school curriculum get a printer that works and the one that I have found to be the most reliable is the original Prusa i3 mark II. okay secondly what you want to do is if you get a 3d printer you really want to be teaching design because one of the gripes that I have is I see teachers <clears throat> incorporating 3D printers into the classroom is they get the printer, they get it set up, and they never really get around to designing things. They'll go to websites like Thingiverse and they'll find cool things that other people have designed. They'll download their designs and they'll put it on the printer and print it. And so it's it's kind of fun, but if you ask what the educational value is, there's not that much educational value because they're just using other people's ideas. <clears throat> okay, so if you're a high school teacher and not an expert, on design, mechanical design or 3D printing, then you might start getting a little intimidated. Well, like I really don't know how to design or I don't know how to teach design. Good news is I have a series of free lessons that you can go to that will teach students how to use CAD software to design things that they can actually print on the 3D printer. So it's great if you can teach it. It's great if you know how to do it. But if you're intimidated and need some help getting started, use my free lessons. You can go to the most excellent website, www.toptechboy.com. And then when you come to this website, let me get out of your way here. When you come to this website, uh, I'll go to the I'll go to the home page here. Okay. When you go to the web uh, when you go to the website, it'll look like this, uh, www.toptechboy.com. If you'll come to this tab that says 3D printing and you go to that tab, I've got a series of lessons 
that will teach students how to design using the 3D printer. And so the software that we're using is SketchUp, and then each lesson has a video, which is the lecture I use to teach my own students. And you guys can just follow along in your classroom. Now, after you've gone through it a few times, you're going to want to make it your own, and you can start taking your class your own direction. You can start making it suitable for the things that you want to do. But what I want you to know is, is that there's a place to get you started. There's a place where you don't have to be worried if it's an area that you are not an expert in. So to effectively incorporate 3D printing into a high school curriculum, number one, you want to get a printer that works. Number two, you want to actually be teaching design and not just teaching download and print. And then the third thing is you want to sort of integrate the, the, the 3D printer into a broader project. And so you don't necessarily want 3D printing to be the end all and beat all of what you're trying to do, but you want to try to make things that allow you to do something else. And so like one of the things I use the 3D printer for my classroom, my students have an edge of space project where they develop instrument packages, electronic instrument packages that they send to the edge of space send it to 130,000 feet and then beam the data from the electronics package back to our mission control in the classroom. Okay, that's a lot of electronics, but the neat thing is with the 3D printer, they can start designing and building the capsule for their electronics package. And so all of a sudden now, instead of using styrofoam boxes and tape, they're actually building uh, elegant capsules for this, uh, for this project. You could also imagine all types of physics project where maybe, you know, you uh, build tracks that you have marbles go down or whatever it is that you're doing in either uh, physics or engineering to have the ability then to go in and design and implement things. And so what I really like is this is what, I mean, I'm an engineer or I was an engineer in real life before I became a high school teacher. And this is what engineering is about. It's about conceiving of stuff. It's about doing a little bit of math and then designing something. And then it's fabricating it. And then after you fabricate it to use it and make measurements and then sort of go through that conceive, math, design, and build. And with the 3D printer, kind of like, sort of like for the first time, you can really start doing that type of thing for real in your classroom. And it doesn't matter whether you're teaching physics, math, or engineering. There is just some really, really cool uh, examples of things that you can, uh, that you can really incorporate this 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 engineering cycle into your classroom and I hope to be making more lessons on that in the future right now what I'm teaching is I'm just teaching how you can design in SketchUp and then print your designs on the 3d printer but I'll be adding more and more uh, more and more uh, lessons that would be suitable for high school curriculums and hopefully that'll help you out so if you're a high school teacher and you have tried to incorporate a 3d printer into your curriculum or you're thinking thinking about it and having questions I'm hoping down below you can leave your comments and maybe we can sort of make this a little bit of a community of teachers who are trying to work with 3d printers in the classroom okay Paul Paul McCorder from TopTechBoy.com. If you are, uh, if you enjoyed this lesson, think about giving us a thumbs up. Think about putting comments down below. Think about subscribing to the channel. Paul McCorder, TopTechBoy.com. I will talk to you guys later.